Uh, hello guys, uh, in this Power Automate tutorial, uh, uh, what I'm doing, I'm, I'm, I'm get, I, I have created a schedule automation where I'm getting a large data set which is uh, really huge, like thousands of records uh, from Salesforce and to, uh, it has uh, uh, the records uh, returns into an array uh, and it has the variable when I created the variable total size which I'm storing the total size of the uh, uh, records then here I'm checking if the total size is greater than zero uh, then I have created a couple of uh, variables at the top uh, with the type of integer uh, what I'm doing because uh, I'm sending an HTTP request, batch HTTP request, because of the timeout when I was sending the uh, like uh, uh, 2000 records or 3000 records at a uh, batch size, it was uh, giving timeout issue. What I did is I break down the the total records, total batch into smaller batches, and then I'm sending it into small batches to HTTP request. Uh, so here, if you see, I have created a couple of uh, variables. So don't worry, these are the, the time. So I have created a variable, uh, initialize uh, selected array. Then I have created, uh, this one is uh, type array. Then I have created total size, default zero. Then initialize the byte size. I put the my I divided my batch to total of twenty number of records. Then I have a full batch size, which is again uh, zero or empty. I created a partial batch, which, for example, we might get the uh, records uh, like batches which are not twenty, like uh, less than twenty. So I yeah, created this variable for that purpose. Uh, I created a total batch size. I created the current batch, and then I uh, created another one which temporary. I'm calculating the totals and then putting the current batch. So, uh, and uh, uh, created another variable initialize uh, index, and then I have created another initialize in index. Uh, so once I'm doing the query, uh, I'm setting the total size of my uh, uh, value from the query, which I return the total size. Then I'm checking if the total size is greater than zero. Uh, then for example, here I'm setting the full batch. So if you see the formula I have applied, I'm getting the total size. I'm defining the total size by the batch size. Uh, and then for the partial batch, I am doing uh, not equals, then getting the variable total size and then batch size. Uh, to get the partial batches and set the default, the Boolean, it's a Boolean. Uh, so, uh, yes, yeah, so I'm going to set it as a true or false. And then I'm getting the uh, total batches. I'm setting the total batches. So, again, I, you know, I get the full batch, which I set here. And then I'm checking if, uh, if it's partial or not. And setting the uh, total batch. And then uh, and then I'm parsing the JSON uh, body of the result. Uh, and then I have done a select query where I'm selecting a couple of fields which I need in my project uh, uh, for the batch. And then uh, what I'm doing, I'm taking the output of this uh, and put it in the selectory, select the array. Uh, then I apply the do while condition, if you see here. The do while condition, on the condition I have put this one, if current, uh, current batch is, uh, current batch is equals to total batch, 
So like S can dash equals to total batch. Then inside the while I have created a start index. Uh, set the start index value, which again multiply add variable current batch and then uh, batch size, and which uh, I'm adding the current index by one. So then I have done the end index. For the end index, the formula I have put this uh, this one multiply variable current batch and variable batch size. And then I'm composing, and so the compose is this, this is uh, I applied the condition for the for the condition is that uh, skip the variable. Uh, I'm skipping the uh, uh, ones which I have already uh, got it. So look through. Then taking the new batch. So this is the formula I put into the compose. And then I'm sending that uh, out of the compose to the HTTP request. Once I send that to HTTP request, then I'm doing uh, I, I, I set the value for the term variable and increment it to one for the current index. And then I'm doing this one to current. Uh, then I'm setting a concurrent uh, Once I did add value, then I'm setting it to current uh, batch. So uh, that's how I have uh, divided uh, a very large batch into a smaller batch and sending it to into a single power item. I uh, hope this helps you guys. And uh, if you have any questions, you can let me know. Thank you so much.